Hi Owls, we're going to start our new set of videos. This week we are learning about penguins, uh, which was a recommendation from one of our uh, owl classmates. The first set of videos uh, are going to be on what penguins look like. So we're going to talk about the size, the weight, um, we're going to talk about the colors of the penguins, all different things like that. Um, how their different body parts help them do different things and why they're built and shaped the way that they are. The next video, uh, in video two, we're going to learn about uh, where they live because they live in um, more places than you might think. I was surprised by a lot of the information that I found in that section. And then we're also going to learn about what they eat and other animals that might like to eat penguins. So we'll learn about their predators as well. Except for crested penguins, so that species of penguin um, that lives in New Zealand, almost all penguins, male and female, boy and girl, look just like each other. So it would be very tricky for you to go to the aquarium or if you were somewhere where penguins live to figure out if it was a boy or a girl penguin that you were looking at. Um, most of the time, they have large heads, um, they have short necks and elongated bodies. And elongated is a word that means kind of like a stretched out, like tube kind of body. And we've all seen a penguin. We kind of know how they're shaped and that you could picture that. That's for most um, species of penguin. They have that um, same sort of look. Their tails are short, um, they're stiff, and they're pointed at the end. So I'm gonna add in some photos that um, can show you many different species of penguins. I know that we've seen them before, but you might be surprised by how different they can look from each other. So of all the living penguins, the emperor penguin is the largest um, standing penguin. It's almost four feet tall. It weighs up to 100 pounds sometimes, like the biggest, biggest that they've seen. Um, and that height, if you had to picture it, would be around the size of like a third or fourth grader, but uh, a bit heavier than a, than a typical third or fourth grader. So these are really large penguins. The smallest of the penguins is actually just called the little penguin, which is pretty easy to remember. And those stand at about 16 inches um, and they weigh about two pounds. So this is about, if you had to picture the size, that would be the size of someone's like pet cat. Like if you had like a cat in your house, it would be about that size, but a lot lighter and you wouldn't really like count the tail. So picture just like a penguin like this size, you know what I mean? So they, they can really be very, very big and they can be very, very small, like the little penguin. Penguins are shaped in a special way that helps them swim. So that is their number one um, attribute that, like, that they can do physically. They're excellent swimmers. Their feet are webbed, which means like on the bottom there's like um, tissue connecting uh, between their toes and it helps them swim. It's more like a paddle. Um, it helps push them forward when they're swimming underwater. They have clawed toes and they can jump from rock to rock and hop around on the ground because their claws help them with that part of things. Um, penguins overall, when they're on land, are very slow animals. Um, and the reason is being is if you look at the, how their bodies are shaped, they don't have these long legs and they don't, they don't walk around on all fours. Um, so they're usually just like hopping around. Um, and when they're traveling around on ice, a way that they can move a little more quickly is by sliding on their bellies. So even though penguins are considered birds, um, they cannot fly, so they have to really depend on sliding around on their bellies, hopping from rock to rock, or swimming underwater. Um, something additional that's interesting is they do have most of the other qualities of a bird. So they lay eggs, they have feathers and wings, um, they have beaks on their faces, but they cannot fly. Thank you. 
all penguins are colored in a way um, where their backs are colored black and their stomachs are colored white. So there might be some different, um, there's like a chin strap penguin where it looks like it has a black strip going underneath its neck, like a, like a chin strap on like a bike helmet or something. Um, and there'll be like little changes and different things like that. Um, but for the most part, penguins are black on the back and white on the front. And the reason that they have these colors is that it works as a kind of camouflage. Um, it helps them survive in the wild and it's a way to protect them. So when they're swimming, and a predator looks at them from outside the water, like up maybe in some snow or on land, and he looks, he'll see their black back surrounded by the black dark ocean. So it's a lot harder to see a penguin when it's floating with its face down and you just see the top black of its back. Um, similarly, when an animal that is underwater, so like a, a sea animal would look up, they would see the, the white of the penguin's belly because it's floating, you know, that way in the water and the shining surface of the ocean from the sunlight would make it so that that very white belly sort of blends in with the bright white top of the ocean. So it, they're kind of protected um, from animals seeing them on the outside of the ocean and on the inside of the ocean. Um, and, and that really helps them blend in. Some penguins will have different colored features, um, but th there's still usually the black and white back and front. Um, an example of that would be emperors, uh, emperor penguins, the really big penguins we were talking about, they have yellow on their heads. Um, and then there are other um, penguins like the rock hopper and the macaroni penguin, and they have orange and yellow um, feathers as well. Most penguins have brown, reddish brown, or like kind of like a goldish brown color eye. Um, so they they don't have like black eyes, they don't have blue eyes. They're usually like some sort of brown, reddish brown, goldish brown, somewhere in there. Um, penguins live in so many different places of the world, and that will sort of change how they look. And we'll notice more about that in the next video, where we learn about um, where penguins live and what they like to eat.